Welcome back, my friends. You see this guy, Farhan? He has so much insight. I'm excited to be here with you today, talking a little bit about metrology, but we're gonna dive into more of the details. We are today at Bruker Alicana, which is kind of fun. We are also at Regal Fix, at this amazing event where I get to talk to more people than I usually get to. So maybe my brain's a little fried, but maybe I'm also, I don't know, not drinking enough coffee? Anyway, let me get to the point, because I got Ferran here. He's like, why are you wasting my time? Let's talk about products. All right, Ferran. so we're talking metrology today, but before we do that, let's talk a little bit about history, where you come from and what you do. What excites you about this world? Yeah, absolutely. Tony, we are Bruker Alicona. We are a provider of high-resolution optical 3D metrology devices. What we do, we scan the surface in 3D, as I mentioned, with high resolution and analyze that data to do different inspection on parts, tools for geometry, surface finish, doing GDNT and so much more. I'm going to take a area right here, which I know you may deal with, mm -hmm. uh, but I come from a world of calipers and maybe a couple of other measuring instruments <laughs> that go along with that that are quite simple, including maybe measuring tape. <laughs> We're getting into a world now that some folks out there that are very traditional go, ah, oh, I don't need that. And mm -hmm. the people who do know they need it, they're in the world of you know, really tricky processes actually, and, and they need to figure out how to measure these complicated parts. But let's talk to the whole industry and say, look, if you're using calipers, this also can help you here. Let's just talk about the technology and how it benefits. Because I've heard that rumor, I can't cut something if I can't measure it. Exactly, Tony, that's very correct. And look, where we come in is, the high resolution and tight tolerances. So if you're cutting a part that requires that high level of inspection, that high quality assurance, that's where we come in. With the technologies that we carry, not only is scanning top down, scanning the surface for surface finish or geometry, but we have introduced other technologies where we can acquire high resolution 3D scan around the part or around the tool where the operator can quickly do a CAD comparison or do a comparison of the data that they're acquiring with our machine with a golden standard. That way, the automation, the ease of use, the overview of what you have measured, what you have produced and measured, comes all in together in a very quick, easy way. We can analyze the part for the manufacturers. Farhan, I wasn't great in school. There's no real point to that other than to let you know that I'm very hands-on. And it's my segue into let's look at some of what you're describing because it sounds to me, once I understand it, this is going to be so much easier for my machine shop than having to measure every part and component, put it on a checklist and go, got it, got it, oh, don't got it, got to remachine it. And, and you're here to help with that. And I know you have a few products here you'd like to go over, so it's, I'm a, I'm a hands-on kind of person. Let's do it. Same here. Look, uh, what we have over here at Rigo Fix is our flagship device for the cutting tool manufacturers. What we have is the Edge Master device. As you can see on the screen, I have the cutting edge of my tool focused on. We have worked in over 20 years with cutting tool industry to develop a software that they can easily bring that edge into focus. So here I click start the measurement. The sensor goes down as it moves continuously upward scans the surface in 3D, that cutting edge. Now the scan is over. Here is putting together a report for us to analyze the edge prep geometry. So here's the edge radius of about six microns, the different values that the cutting, the cutting tool industry is interested in. And here is a cool 3D data set of that cutting edge. As you can see again, we have that high resolution where even the grinding marks are visible. And if you want to compare this with uh, another cutting edge, it's completely possible we have those capabilities. Farhan, I heard a rumor, and sometimes rumors are true, most of the times they're not. So I have to clarify with you. I heard a rumor that this tool is utilized a lot by cutting tool makers, because sometimes that edge can be so sharp that it's actually less quality, which it goes backwards in my brain, but I get the point. I get if it's too sharp, I might crack something, chip something, and we actually want to put a small little radius on that edge, right? And, and a lot of folks out there are utilizing your equipment, and that's what it's known for out there. Is that correct, Rumor? Absolutely. Our biggest customers are cutting tool industry. From engineering that cutting edge, 
to doing the coding, to doing the edge prep, being different companies that they do the edge prep for the cutting tool industry, they use our products because we have the highest repeatability measuring the cutting edge and we can measure it down to two micron edge radius. With the same setup that you measure the two micron edge radius, you can also measure surface finish of that tool down to two micro inch finish. So that's 50 nanometers RA that you can measure on your tools. Impressive, impressive. And I know I have some friends out there for sure in the cutting tool world with hundreds of machines that might, they might also know, but they might not know. And this is gonna be a revolutionary item for them. So I hope you out there watching uh, caught that detailed piece of information. Let's slide on over to this one as well. This one, from my perspective, again, you know all the details, but this one looks pretty fancy. Well, this is our five axis metrology device. This is not the largest machine that we have. We also have the micro CMM, which is the first fully optical 3D CMM in the world. Wow. However, this is our infinite focus G6. This is the sixth generation of infinite focus product line, capable of, again, scanning the surface in 3D to analyze for geometry and surface finish in one place. You know what the word infinite means, right? Well, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive, Farhan. Yes. I mean, yes. really it is. And I believe there's a, a little demo you want to give as well. But before we get into the demo, again, I'm playing, I'm playing the role of someone who, who doesn't know, where would this greatly benefit me in our industry right now? Absolutely. So first and foremost, automation. So we want to have that high resolution, we want to have that accuracy, measuring our parts, giving us confidence that in one program, I can automate the, all the geometry and all the GDNT that I need to analyze on this surface, as well as surface finish, bring it all in one place. I'm sure you know, we don't want to take one part from one machine, measure it on the other machine, and then bring it back to this machine. This device gives you the ability to do all of that in one place and do everything in 3D, which gives you better and more comprehensive way of understanding what you have manufactured. Yeah, I mean, that conversation is something that we talk about all the time in the machining world, but to also have it in the metrology world is a, is a godsend. It is such a gift. So thank you for doing that. Do you want to show a little demo as well about, I believe uh, you have something going on you'd like to show off? Yeah, absolutely. So. We have worked with the manufacturing industry to understand what are their needs and what they want to see software and hardware wise. So what you see over here, uh, our sensor is focused on that little feature of that demo tool that we have, which uh, is the courtesy of Kern. So thank you Kern for that, shout out to them. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on, the, on the screen, Nowadays, digital twins are very important, so I can sync my machine with bringing the CAD model, sync the machine, and be able to completely have a device that is synced with my part and per my CAD model. And everything and you're things. clicking for on is actually happening over here on the machine simultaneously, right? Exactly. Because I see the machine, even though the camera's focused on your software, I see the machine moving on this side. Exactly. So as the machine is synced with the CAD model, we are able to go around the CAD model, program it offline or online on our CAD model, and by doing so, scan different areas. Now, Tony, I mentioned the focus variation is our main technology that we use to acquire these high resolution 3D data sets. So if I turn off the CAD model, you can see these 3D data sets that we, we have acquired. Now, within the focus variation technology, which again is capable of scanning very steep slopes, measuring surface finish, and other simple geometry, we have developed a new technology called vertical focus probing. So what vertical focus probing is, 
Here's my CAD model, and you can see there are some holes on this surface. I'm able to, from above, scan the top surface and even the bottom of that hole, but also scan that vertical hole. So we are talking about cooling hole on turbine blades. We are talking about tip of the injector nozzle. Anything that you EDM or have very small holes on the surface, we can optically scan and not only look at the diameter, but look at the shape of that cylinder. If there is a taper on that hole that you would like to measure as the in injector nozzles and uh, fuel delivery folks do, we are able to scan it in 3D with that machine, with that setup that you see. So I think I know this answer, but I have to ask it because I'm not sure if you said it. Smoothness, roughness, is that also measured? That's a great question. Smoothness and roughness is only possible on that top surface. Okay. Not on the vertical surface. Okay. Not yet. Not hopefully yet. Hopefully one well, day. If anybody can do it, it'll be you day. for sure. <laughs> and normally, well, not normally, but my original plan was to kind of close down the conversation. Thank you. Thank the audience, all that fun stuff. But before we jumped into this machine, I believe you mentioned a micro machine that is the only one of its kind in the world. Yeah. You can't just tell me that and then not <laughs> tell me more about it. So yeah. give me an elevator pitch or a minute opportunity to learn more, even though we don't have it here, to learn more yes. about that machine. Because I can't just walk off a cliff and not know that answer. But come on, that's not fair. Well, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and... Um, I wish we could have brought it, but uh, that machine is one of a kind. Currently, it's actually sitting at our good partner's Kern facility because everything that comes out of the Kern machine is a perfect fit for our micro CMM machine to be measured with. Our micro CMM is again fully optical, same technology, same capabilities as what we can see here doing GDNT surface finish analysis. And based on ISO 10360, it has 0.8 plus L over 600 accuracy of the axes. And lastly, we add that rotation unit, just like how we have it on the Infinite Focus G6, to acquire 3D data sets that with the micro CMM and adding that advanced real 3D rotation unit, we are able to scan parts in 360 degrees and get 3D data sets that are fully scanned all around the part or a tool and do, again, CAD comparison, different geometry analysis, whatever the customer is interested in analyzing. Well, thank you for indulging me and not leaving My me pleasure. just wondering what was going on. <laughs> Farhan, you, I appreciate it. It's obvious to me that you're well versed in all of this technology. So sharing these insights with the audience as well is very much appreciated. Thank you all for watching. As always, time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. So if you've shared your valuable time with us today, we truly appreciate it. Can't wait to talk to you again further. Thank you, Tony.